Directly, or would you rather stay here overnight? Well, I thought we might spend our honeymoon here in San Juan, unless you're anxious to get home. There's no hurry. Suppose we go to the Caribbe Hilton. I think I have enough influence to get us the bridal suite. That sounds wonderful. Everybody of importance drops by at the Caribbean for cocktails and a swim. I can scarcely wait to show you off to my friends. I do hope they'll like me. I shall be the most envied man in Puerto Rico. Uh Indeed a surprise, Louis, and to think that an old confirmed bachelor like yourself finally got married, and to such a lovely lady. You're a sly one, Montoya. So it was really romance and not business that took you to the States. It started out as a business trip, but on my first night in New York, I met Jean. After that, I forgot everything else. But you've only been gone a week. When did you get married? Just this morning, before we caught the plane. Then I'm sure the newlyweds will be happy to excuse us. Of course. Goodbye. Luis, why don't you check and see if our suite is ready now? Of course, I shan't be long. Hello, Jean. What are you doing down here, Ronnie? Same thing you are, I guess. Following the sun and the money. Who is he? He's my... 
Don Luis Montoya. He owns a sugar plantation here. Well, nice going, Jim. Then you deserve the best. I may as well tell you, he's my husband. Well, congratulations, Jim. Couldn't happen to a nicer gal. Hasn't got a sister, has he? Look, Ronnie, do me a favor and leave me alone, will you? I might find you rather embarrassing to explain. I don't see why. It's just that my husband would never understand the sort of life we've had to leave, Ronnie. He doesn't know anything about me. And he might get the wrong impression. I see what you mean. All right, Jim. I'll get lost. Oh, uh, some of the old crowd is coming down in a few days. I just thought you'd like to know. Thanks, Ronnie. Would you mind terribly if we went to the plantation instead? Well, of course, if you'd rather. But why? Well, it's so crowded here, and... And besides, don't you think the plantation would be much more romantic? I do indeed. There it is, the plantation. And that is the central the factory where the cane is processed. And all around, as far as you can see, the cane fields. I hope it's all that you expected. Well, I'm not sure what I expected, but certainly nothing so vast and so isolated. And that strange odor, what is it? Yeah, the sugar cane. It is a bit overpowering at first, but one gets used to it. I'm sure I will. I can't wait to see the faces of Carlos and Bernardo's and the others when I introduce my new bride. Carlos is your manager, isn't he? Oh, he's a great deal more than that to me. Bernardo, my mayordomo. I must warn you about him. The only thing sharper than his eye is his tongue. I'm sure Luis is only joking. I bid you welcome. And this handsome young fellow who cannot keep his eyes off you is Carlos. How do you do? Welcome, senorita. Don't be so shy, Rita. Rita helps Bernardo run my household while he runs me. Hello, Rita. My cousin. Miguel Sanchez. Rita, gentlemen, my wife. Well, ah, senora, congratulations. Don Luis, I'm so happy for you. Senora, my warmest congratulations. Thank you. Always in matters of such importance, you have consulted me. Everything happened so fast, Bernardo. I only met Jean this week. We were married this morning before we left New York. Aye. Strangers in the wedding bed. I see you believe in the old saying, Rita. What is that, Senora? That the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. She's very pretty. But then I'm sure you're fully aware of her charm. He is indeed. I fear I shall lose my little housekeeper to him one day. Don't worry, Luis. Whenever you lose a servant, you seem to gain a dependent. You still have not answered my question. And which one was that? You will forgive my curiosity, but naturally we're anxious to know all about you. Hey, Luis? Well, there's really very little to tell. 
I met Luis, I fell in love with him, and I married him. Very charming. Before that? Really, Miguel? It's all right, Luis. Before that, I had rather a difficult time. My parents left me a sizable inheritance, but with bad investments in one thing and another, it was soon gone. Quite frankly, when I met Luis, I was living from hand to mouth. Mm, me too. From Luis' hand to my mouth. Nonsense, Miguel. You know you are welcome to anything that I have. I just hope you'll have enough to go around. Suppose you tell me about yourself. From what Luis said, I gather you're not just his manager. Indeed not. He's much more than that. There are times when he makes me feel quite unnecessary. We manage things together here. Sort of a family affair. Oh, then you're related to Luis, then? No. My father worked here on the plantation. When he and my mother died, Don Luis took me in and raised me. Almost as if I were his own son. Let us say protege instead of son. I do not wish Jean to be reminded of my advanced years. Nonsense, Luis. We have something in common then. Our gratitude to Luis. And our love for him. And our love for him. I wish to propose a toast. To Don Luis Montoya, my benevolent cousin, who opens his house and his heart to strangers. Miguel. But who denies his bounty to his own blood. To Don Luis, the great benefactor, who has created a paradise for parasites. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. He will apologize for this. Here come the workers to welcome you. It seems we're about to be serenaded. Jean and I wish to thank you for coming to honor us, my friends. Would you care for some refreshment? <laughs> you take care of it, Bernardo. And I think a wedding bonus is in order. Say an extra day's pay for everybody. <laughs> I feel so much more at home now that I've met Carlos. And Bernardo and Rita and... I know. Miguel. He is a little difficult at times. I'm afraid I wouldn't be as patient with him as you are. No, you don't understand. You see, we came here together a long time ago when we were very poor. I suppose even then I was more fortunate. I at least had a machete. A machete and a dream. A dream that one day I could carve out of the raw wilderness what you see now. And Miguel? He was much then as he is now. You see, he's my nearest living relative. Because of that, and for all But it's dangerous, Luis. Don't you see how he hates Carlos? Carlos can take care of himself. You need have no fear for him, nor for me.
breaking up. When he's drunk, keep away from him. Alice, you pig! Alice! Come here. Out of this, I have no quarrel with you. Only with him. If you have a quarrel with Carlos, you have one with me. You keep out of this, or I'll kill you too. Sedative, dear. It leaves the pain a little. Really, Jean, I'm quite all right. No, no. Dr. Romero said he'd drop in again tomorrow. He said you'd better take it easy for a few days. Thank you, Carl. Good night. Good night. This is most awkward. I hardly know what to say. I shall always remember the courageous thing you did tonight. Now you go to sleep. Thank <laughs> you. 
There's no use in saying I was drunk. I didn't know what I was doing. For myself, I could forgive you. But your hatred and resentment of Carlos and your insulting manner toward my wife, that I cannot tolerate. In all our years together, that means nothing to you? You never had any real affection for me. All you were interested in was what you could get out of me. And these two, what about them? Do you think they love you for yourself or for what they can get out of you? Enough of that. You better go. All right. I'll go, but the time will come when you'll beg me to come back here. I'm sorry, Jean, but now that he's gone, perhaps things will be more pleasant here. Of course, dear. Could Carlos show me around the plantation? I'd like to know everything about it now that I'm a planter's wife. Certainly. You and Carlos, run along. You're sure you won't need me? No, Bernardo will take care of me. Go on, run along. All right, dear. You see, he behaves himself, Bernardo. I expect no trouble from him. Bernardo, you haven't told me yet. What do you think of her? If she were my wife and I were you, I would get well quickly. Because? As soon as it matures, it has to be burnt off first. Burned off? To get rid of all the dead leaves and ground trash. Don't you start apologizing to me, too. Luis has done nothing else ever since we arrived. It's just that he's so anxious for you to be happy here. I... We all are. Do you think I'm not happy? I wouldn't blame you if you weren't. Uh, I mean, if you weren't upset. But with Miguel and... and Don Luis being sick and... Anything else you care to see? What else is there? Nothing. Except the old sugar mill, but it's been abandoned for years. Nobody ever goes there. An old sugar mill? That sounds very romantic. Please show me.
don't go in. These old ruins aren't safe. There used to be a windmill up there. Don Luis built it when he first came here many years ago. You make him sound very ancient. And me. I, I didn't mean anything of the sort. All oh, I said... Carlos, why must you be so intense about everything? I was only teasing you. Down here, a man doesn't let a woman tease him. That must make your love affairs rather dull. I wouldn't know. Really, Carlos, you don't expect me to believe that your little friend Rita is the first of your conquests. That isn't the way it is between Rita and me. We've talked of getting married. You're really serious about her? Why not? Well, she's very charming, of course, and quite pretty. But she hardly seems the sort for a man like you. How do you know what kind of a man I am? That little incident with McGill last night. I was watching you from my bedroom window. Sorry about that. I, I guess it wasn't a very pretty sight for a woman to watch. Wasn't it? There must be a wonderful view of the plantation. Do you suppose we can go up there? I told you before, it's not safe. medicine Dr. Romero left. It will quiet your pain and your temper. Romero's an old fool. I've taken many a machete slash with much less concern. But you were younger then. with the horses. But why? He has no need of me. Hasn't he? Did Carlos show you all around? Yes. He even took me to the old sugar mill. What, why there? It's nothing but a pile of ruins. I know. But such romantic ruins. Oh, romantic. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like Carlos. The old sugar mill holds no romantic appeal for him either. Only women appeal to Carlos. You mean Rita, of course. I mean, senora, that Carlos is muy hombre, much man, as any woman can readily see. What did Doña Jean think of the plantation, Carlos? Did she like it? I suppose. She didn't say. She's very beautiful, isn't she? Don Luis will be the envy of every man in Puerto Rico, won't he? What did she talk about? I don't know, different things. But you must remember something she said. She said you were very charming and very pretty. Really? I thought she had hardly noticed me. She noticed you. Did you tell her about us? Oh, stop it, Rita. Stop what? All this chattering. If you've got something to say to me, say it. Oh, I'm sorry, Carlos. I... Oh, I... You women. The way you twist and turn a man. You do love me, don't you, Carlos? Now, why do you say that? You do, don't you? Yes. Of course. And we will be married soon? After the harvest. Not before? Not very well. I'll be busy day and night now that Miguel's gone. I'll have to take care of his job at the Central and do the field work as well. But right after the harvest, we will be married. Why do you question me like that? Oh, I don't know. It's just that I... I... Oh, Carlos. 
I have a house by the beach. I was thinking we might go there for a few days. Sort of a belated honeymoon. Of course, dear. Just as soon as you're well enough. I was thinking we might go tomorrow. Well, won't you be needed here? Carlos said something about the harvest starting. You're not putting me off, are you? Now, you know better than that. Really, first thing in the morning. I just thought with McGill gone, Carlos might not be able to handle the harvest alone. I can rely on Carlos. Bernardo and I shouldn't have any trouble. By the time we get back, you should have the cane burned off. Good. Then Luis, something has gone wrong at the central. The machines will not start. Well, can't we get somebody to fix them? They tried. It was of no use. Always before, Miguel has taken care of such matters. Carlos, we better have a look. Right. It shouldn't take very long. I hope you don't mind. No, you go ahead, dear. You may as well take the luggage inside, Rita. Seems my honeymoon has been postponed again. I'm very sorry, senora. I'm sure you are. How could that have happened? I don't know, unless... Miguel? No. No, he wouldn't do a thing like that. Why not? Who else would want to make trouble for you? And who else knows machines as he does? Perhaps you're right, but the important thing is to get it fixed. Go in town and see if you can find a mechanic. Right. I'll take your horse. Stay.
the village who were having trouble getting the machinery started. What the devil are you doing here? With the harvest getting underway, naturally, that could be rather serious. Naturally. Well, what of it? If I can be of any assistance. I want no help from you. But he wants something from you, I think. Not at all. Unlike you, Louise, I do not forget my old loyalty so easily. Very well. I imagine you'll have little difficulty in locating the trouble. Understand this, I will pay you for your services, and nothing has changed between us. Miguel out here in the field. I've been trying to find him to see what he's up to. Then it was Miguel. What do you mean? The trouble with the machinery. We thought he was responsible for it. Well, can't Luis get it repaired? I tried to find the village mechanic, but he's gone to San Juan. Well, Miguel can't have gotten far. If you could find him... I'll find him. Come on. Help me search. They're at the old sugar mill I saw them there yesterday. What were you doing at the old mill? I slept there overnight, but they did not see me, of course. Why do you say of course? I did not think it would be discreet to disturb them. Discreet? <laughs> I fear I've given you the wrong impression, Luis. I only meant that I didn't want them to see me on the plantation after you'd ordered me off. I would not like to think that you were spying on them. Why should I spy on them? The only place we haven't searched is the old sugar mill. You better stay here while I take a look. Oh, really, Carlos? Must you be so obvious about it? About what? Not wanting to take me with you to the mill. What is it you're afraid of? Trouble with Miguel or with me? You wait here. Then you are afraid of me. Or of yourself. That's the kind of talk I would expect from a cantina girl. You're right, it was rather cheap. I think we should get something clear. Yes? You're the wife of the man who picked me up out of the dirt. I don't know whether you're in love with him, but I know he loves you. So? So there isn't going to be anything between you and me ever. No matter how I feel about you. <laughs> Thank you. 
That called me. It's true, I did see the two of them together. But I'm sure it was all very innocent. No, no, please, please, always, please. Get dressed. All right. You bring me my clothes. away from her. took her to her room. Luis, if there's anything I can... Don Luis, please, believe me. It was not as you think. You bring shame into my house. Must you lie to me as well? But it's true. No matter how it looked, there was nothing wrong. Not really wrong. Not really wrong? Now, there's a fine distinction. Don Luis, after all you've done for me, do you think I would dishonor your name? Have you not? Yes. Yes, but not in the way you believe. That I swear to you on my honor. You talk to me of honor. Get out. It would be easy for me to go. Far easier than to stay here now. But to leave, to run away, would be to admit my guilt, and that I will never do. It'd be a simple matter to kick you, huh? Nor will I leave in your debt, Don Luis. First, I will work out all I owe you for my food, clothing, shelter, everything you've ever given me, even my very life. Then I will go, but not until then. There is something in what he says, Don Luis. Keep out of this. I'm not thinking of him. I think only of the harvest. All right. Then stay. But you will work with the men in the fields, and you will take your orders from Miguel. Show the new field hand to his quarters, Bernardo. I will have work for him in the morning. Rita, I... I...
by taking him his things? Do you think that he deserves even that much from you? I love him, Bernardo. No matter what he's done. Then you would humble yourself. But what else can I do? La Senora, she has much fire. Rita, you are sweet and charming, but you are soft as ashes. A man is not warmed by ashes, but by fire. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? I mean, the way you're acting, I've never seen you like this. I'm through with you. Do you hear? Through. Please, Rita. You and that bad woman. You're just, just awful. Please don't cry. I'm not crying. I'm mad. I don't blame you, but won't you let me explain? No. You can treat me like, like ashes under your feet. For all I care, you can have your... your woman of fire! Well, aren't you going to say anything? Are you waiting for me to get down on my knees and beg your forgiveness? I would have, at first. I would have crawled to you. But not now. Not the way you're treating Carlos and me. By the time the harvest is over, he won't be fit for the cane rot. Since Don Luis has put you in charge now, you might see to things at the central. I was just going, Luis. You will have no reason to regret your faith in me. I have faith in no one.
Probably should bring a good price this year, don't you think? Then leave. Here are the papers I spoke to you about. Put them on my desk. I'll look at them later. with that. I know how you feel, Louise. Forgive me, please. I can't go on like this. You've got to take me away from here. I can't, Jean. You're his wife. Wife? The way he treats me, you think I was some cheap, common... Jean. Then please take me away. Anywhere, I don't care. Just so we can be together. I can't, Jean. At least not now. First, I've got to repay him for everything he did for me. Don't be a fool. You owe him nothing. Not after that brutal beating. I can't really blame him for that. The way he found us together. It was all my fault, wasn't it? If I hadn't led you on, nothing would have ever happened, would it? No. I've tried to make myself believe that, but it's no use. It would have happened anyway, sooner or later. Oh, Carlos, I had to hear you say that. I had to be sure. You must take me away. I can't stand it another night with him. I know how it must be for you. All right, Jean. I'll get you out of here. And when I've paid him everything I owe him, I'll join you. But that may be so long. But it's the only way. Oh, Carlos. Wait here for me. I'll get my things packed. Hurry. Before he misses you. You can't keep me here like a prisoner or a slave. You're not some god with the power of life and death over me. You're just a man, an old man. Yes, an old man, an old fool. You're the perfect picture of a betrayed husband, aren't you, the way you stand there? Only you weren't betrayed, not really. And you? I don't deny I was trying to help Jean get away, but I was going to come back and... Yes, we know. Work off your debt to Luis. So you said before, and you tried to run off with his wife. I wasn't running off with her. I was trying to protect her from... from you. You dare? My wife? You dare say that to me? Yes. I won't let you mistreat her any longer. And the first chance I get, I will take her away from you. From now on, he is to be watched. If he makes another attempt, put more than a gun in Miguel's hands. Mm-hmm. 
Don Luis. Don Luis, wake up. Oh. We need you. Oh. Don Luis, we must prepare to burn off the fields tonight. family we are. You must be quite pleased by all this. It's just what you wanted, isn't it? Not exactly. I was rather hoping Luis would divorce you. So you could take over if anything happened, is that it? The poor must be practical. You should understand that. I want nothing from him. Then I owe you an apology. I thought you married him for security. Now all I want from him is my freedom. In that case, perhaps I can be of service to you. What do you mean? It's very simple. If you will renounce your claim to Luis' estate, I should be more than happy to help you get away from him, even with Carlos. You might help me get away, but not Carlos. You hate him. Indeed I do, but you'll not get away without Carlos. You see, I'm a practical man. If I help Carlos take you out of here, one day I'll inherit all of this. What do you suggest? I suggest that tonight, when everyone is busy burning the fields, you might not find it difficult to reach the old mill without being seen. And Carlos? Naturally, I'll be watching him. But he's very clever, that one. It might not be impossible for him to escape. And Luis? Don't worry about him. In his condition, he'll present no problem. Giving you any trouble, is he? They're ready to burn the other field. I'll watch him.
Jean. Jean. La señora, she's not upstairs. She's not in the room. If you're looking for your wife, perhaps I can help you. Where? Where is she? Is she with him? Yes. That's what I came here to tell you. They're together at the old sugar mill. Perhaps waiting their chance to get away. Told Luis. What? Miguel, he said he'd help us get away. You, you trusted him? Wait. Cut through the fields, you can surprise him. You can catch them together and then you'll be sure once and for all. It's too late. 
I can't let him die. No, Carlo, no! Try to kill Don Luis. You're through, Miguel.
There's no need to be troubled, Rita. Everything will be again just as it was. Between Carlos and Luis, yes. But... But what? You'll never forget it, Renato. No more than Don Luis. I think you will. In time. With your help. And your love. <laughs>